slip-ups over here in Stockholm. And now they're... Uh, they're watching. Watching intently. <laughs> Waiting. They require one of the four underdogs in our quarterfinals to place last in the playoffs. Yeah, so if this one continues to go in Astralis' favour and G2B ends next, we will hear celebrations from all over the globe for FaZe. Oh, well focus in on this as Dupree aggressive has spotted the player out towards the balcony and well he got spotted too the wall bang with the Glock you don't see that every day of the week Victor he will punish and that's a great opener here because now Fiend they can regather in the 4v5 number advantage they still get their smokes they still get their flash and their Molotov and they can hit either site right now now the question is does the three-man stack of Astralis stay strong on this b-bomb site or does it pivot back over towards A to help out Zipex, who has these jewelies that were actually, and I find it strange to be saying this, great on Nuke. He got four kills on the pistol with those. I think it's filled in with confidence, hasn't it? Yeah, and they are cheaper now, so I can slowly, slowly start to make more and more of a case. Them 30 bullets, right? But we are going back towards A, so the stack of Astralis has been rumbled, and they don't even know it yet. Zip, he's going to have to do the same as Nuke, but here on his own. He doesn't need any help. Arch smoke. Moto Smoke, Julies do connect, and someone will finish him off eventually. There's Han. So a 3v4 on the retake. A couple of uh, nades in Magisk's hands. He might be able to get some chip damage done with that, and he oh, does throw one out. This, are you? Oh, Han lives on. Dreamer, oh, struggling That's to a track a bouncy Bubski. He's actually scooped up a Molotov as well. That's going to make Victor's problem. Not much greater. Oh, Crashed combined well. with the flash, Bobski into the side. Oh, not like this, boys. Oh, no. Fiend, falter at the final step of the pistol. It looked brilliant. Hard to track a bouncy Bobski, and it builds into a retake. The Uazis out there. It is bloody early in the morning, but we are back. Today. Bobski, I thought you maybe had a tech issue, but he's hanging around. It's a four-man B-lean here. Now, uh, look at the guns. We've got a couple of Khalils, a couple of AKs, a Deagle as well. But not a lot of nades right now. So name of the game means it's going to be slow for Fiend. Now, hope as you're stretching, right? You're really just getting in deep to the stretches. Make sure you don't want to push it too far. But you want to be able to feel the burn. Those mollies won't be burning anybody over towards Banana. Currently nobody home. More util dipped on down. And Bubble actually with the one smoke that they had used over towards B. That's going to keep the, the feet planted at two on that site. But Dupree's about to get some info. I don't know if he actually caught that on the jiggle. The bullets confirm what maybe was missed and now they're going to turtle on up as Dreamer gets a duel and wins it like he's down yeah they're going to commit to this so many bodies how is Dupree not dead oh no Dreamer's down Victor too Magis can still cause problems from the pit he's such a nuisance should be found does get hunted down okay damage control complete the clutch minister yeah, what with it? An MP9, signed by the Clutch Minister himself. He's Counter-Strike's uh, MacGyver, Alex. He can make this work with a P250 and a decoy. And some toothpicks. Red Star peeks out. No, no, no. Han getting a bit uncomfortable now. He should just take this fight, Zip. Leave him alone, Zip. Halfway ticked. Yeah, he's recovered some util. What is that? Smokes him off. Pushing the issue, just trying to make this as stressful as possible. Good presence of mind here from Han. Relocates to Graveyard and just buys enough time from Sue. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> oh, wait, we're live. Oh, no, no, no. no. we're just Alex. testing, Alex. Sorry, I decided, oh, I saw things happening. We're just testing. Now, uh, what's in... Has happened so far here on Inferno. Well, we had a whole map of Nuke. Astralis won that. Now we're on Inferno. Astralis won the pistol. Then Fiend bounced back with a Force Buy. And that is why we are in the Force Buy Wars round number three. Let's get this one going. Forgotten how to commentate. Ooh to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Built in a day. Yeah, let's see if Fiend can extend play. Short poem by Alex, age 28. Deagles for the Danes. Okay, well. They've got the smoke defense, right? So this is where if Fiend do rest on their laurels, especially considering the damage they've already taken, Chad, if they will rot that clock down to the 40-30 mark, they could find themselves running through smoke grenades into deagles. Oh, yes, indeed. That is normally uh, the biggest factor here. So a minute 10, if they start to get a move on and execute B now, not so many problems, but they're going to get denied at this door. You can see Bubsky lining something up here, re-smoking. That's going to buy them to roughly 40 seconds of play. 
But he's been left alone right now, Zip, and he has one more smoke in his hands. He can throw a good one there from the back of the site. Bubsky with a flash in his hand as well, and they're actually getting close here. We know the Deagle doesn't do as much damage. That one's dropped. We're going to be seeing below the 30-second mark now. Magis looking like he wants to gamble. He's coming over too. They're out of smokes for the defense. It will be the B finish. All right. Zip up close. A three-man defense. Here comes the Util, starting to sail through. They will have established the boost in time. Magis Ganti. Zip, he's not Molotov. Oh, he is. It spreads. Forced to take a fight. Swinging out towards the pillar. He's yet to get to go down. No blood yet. Drawn. Now Zipex falls. And Red Star needs another. Can't quite track him in the smoke. Issues for Magis. The last bullet out of Victor's spray connects. They bomb. Can't be contested now. Bubsky's given it a good shot and actually nearly finished off Bubble long range. Yeah, good spam, but I think this one could be done right now. You can see right now Dupree hasn't rotated over to help his team at all. He's on the balcony over towards that A site. And Bubsky and uh, Lucky, well, they're going to join him. So the Force by Wars, they've been one on out, but Astralis may as well keep what they have. Have a double dip with it in the next round of play. And finally, yeah. we've had the third round of Counter-Strike here in map number two concluded. Yeah, if anyone's concerned or confused about the average damage per round, I think we can all assume and understand why that's going to be a bit skew with. Yeah. ADR is going to be bowed because they just spent an hour shooting each other uh, while we waited to resolve that tech issue. I'm not. I'm sure we can remove it from there. Oh, it's already gone. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> wow, I didn't even finish my sentence. There you go. Rush is listening. He's always there through this upper bracket. Well, not upper bracket. The playoff, playoff bracket. Uh, so they want to win as well here. Both teams with a lot to play for. The legend status, it is big. It does mean a lot. And well, Lucky with some warning shots of his Deagle. Nades following his footsteps, but they've been able to dodge those. And this should just be an easy round for Fiend again. If they want to execute beat, no dramas. It'll be similar to what we previously saw. Unless Lucky goes massive. Oof, that damage is massive. Swallows the grenade. Shrapnel to the liver. Looking to chop up Bubble here. The timing on his peak was everything. Just shy of the head, so space to be taken. Boost to be pre-fired in yeah, Red Star. Caught oh, a glimpse of that as well. One back straight through the smoke is Zip. Contributes a little. All right, well, Bob's going to go down and 40 seconds thrust onto the clock. Now Australis can hang around and try and do a little bit more damage or see if they can walk away with an AK. Zip with a second. 6 HP plus the 30 of Bubsky, so operating with very little here. Fiend just trying not to hemorrhage anything else, but they will be converting their third. No kit, no chance for the defuse, and the kills are just going to get mopped up there. We have at Han and Victor. The early stages of this, are we going to see three-man banana leans? Are we going to see nades left over? Are we going to see stacks towards porch side? The Astralis CT defense, a lot riding on this right now as we have the deep mid smoke out from Astralis as their opening move. Yeah, ballsy from Dupree going for that late nade. Actually lands perfectly into the tunnel. No one available. Catch some flak. Now, it is just the standard holdout of Astralis here, and well, the standard default from Fiend. They're going to work on that banana control late. Once the CT smoke subside, they're also getting Pauls and Boiler. And to have that early is great. It applies a lot of pressure towards this A defense. You can see Lucky on the arch side. He's the only man really contesting mid. Magisk is putting some warning shots through from the balcony. And they also have Dupree over towards the bomb site. Passive on both fronts here, Astralis. No banana information and very little mid information now that Lucky's been smoked off. Pressure up this long side. It's Lucky's responsibility. Smoke will be fading shortly. Now, I suspect there's more to come from that respect. Bubble's just containing at this point. He's just playing a jiggle flash defense. The smoke will lock him off. He'll be forced to make a decision. And actually, his decision is to stand and fight. They're going to boost. Nerds. Oh, spotted out. Bubble already draws first blood. 30 seconds, Chad. They're going to wrap. Zipex pulls to address Bubble. And if he just bides his time here, it's a one-man defensive B. Looking great for Fiend for the fourth. That's the find. Bubble contributing heavily. Only Bobski on the site. A single FAMAS frag will not cut the mustard. Be a save here. And that's the end of that. Four already flying out of the gates after that long technical break. And they're building a nice nest egg of cash as well, keeping their bodies alive in these conversions. You've only seen, what, minimal frags from the Astralis members. Obviously, the pistol frags, but bar that, we've seen them die just twice over these last two rounds. That was pretty simple as well right there. So that divider smoke that they've thrown over towards Arch, I want to talk about the importance of that. Oh, hold up. The importance of this is everything right now. Dreamer on the chase has taken down Magisk, and 
like he's in a similar position. Dreamer is coming to clear this. You want to take these rifles away. It's going to make the next round easier, but Dreamer doesn't want to push the issue further. Thinks that Lucky may be hiding elsewhere, but that arch smoke we just saw that Strauss tried to boost over. The reason that's a good smoke, right? They can spend yeah. down roughly to about that 2K mark. You know you're going to get the 3400 in the next round to play. So as long as you have enough to buy, yeah, that's, that's the golden rule. It may seem like yesterday, but on Nuke, we saw Astralis converting a couple of these. It was a couple of hours ago. It was. Bubbles. Catches some heavy flak there. Two nades to his thigh. Responsible for the entirety of this beast site. And in the meantime, you have a little apartments project. Dreamer and Red Star looking at a potential investment. Well, they've already been able to deal with these lighter rounds. Now, these are the type of your fiend that you have to convert, right? You, you can't be dropping one like this, and, well, you need to get that nade out of your hands if you're Red Star. There it is. In case anybody's close on the boost, just wanting to do some flak damage. If you can handle these, and you can keep these rounds neat and tidy, that's great. The, these are the ones that you have to lock on in, because then when we get to the gun rounds that's more contested, you've already got five rounds in yeah. the bloody bank. Bingo. And they've also already managed to draw all of the utility out of them, just through presence alone. Sipex fell under threat, drops his smoke, buys time, rotates on its way through speedway. Victor will have heard that. And the util drop. This is the good final commit, though. They've got one single flash remaining. Lucky, though, still catching one. Issues. Lucky promising another. The smoke. He's ahead of it. They did throw a deep CT smoke, and now there's still bodies on the site. Uh -oh. Bubsky looking to ruin everything. Doesn't quite disrupt enough. 20 seconds. They're all at the back of the site. The rotate's in. No one has to plan. They yeah, do need to be getting that bomb down, Chad. Dreamer's already had a chunk taken out of him. Lucky could contribute even more. Go on, he's pushing. Oh, and they've denied the bomb. It's fallen apart at the seams for Fiend. Nine seconds only. Han, he's gone smoke being thrown again from Astralis. It's a four-man B lean early. What are they up to? Agisk spots out by Han, but unable to connect. Everyone has just put a magazine into that smoke. Very sus of that aggressive mid-smoke. I mean, you can get aggressive maneuvers through it, flashing through it, etc., but chilling their beans. I think Astralis have liked with that smoke to do those deep mid-nades, right, yeah. to get the AWPers and the uh, little chicken pit players but here we go again now they've taken territory and lucky red star is just on the other side of that doorway likely a little shaken from that round that felt like a must win or a likely win smoked so deployed looks like it'll be a short side advance here chad so lucky's about to get some action and that'll do for him actually wow sticking a grand round he does have that Molly burning to buy time, and actually Dupree wants to re-aggress on this. A flash, and confirmation, Red Star booked on the brackets. Beautiful. They take the space right back from them in a the smoke for good measure. What do you do now, Chad? This is huge. Where do you go? They have to go back towards B here. They, they can either try and flash and pop on through that. They are. They're going to fight. They're fighting mid. Oh, and he's ready. Dupree plays anti-flash. Oh. So much damage inflicted. Victor and Han have to be careful. The CT and Sendry buying more time. Oh, and they're running out of time, but not players. Bubski falls on his aggress. They, they are going to pivot. Zipex is sprinting out, puts on his running shoes. It's a good fight for Han with the AWP. If he goes cough inside, he might just be able to deny the plant. It's a question of who they bodyguard and where they choose to hold. Lucky holding the line. Eight seconds. Victor does get across, but Zipex is there, and this is a big denial. Astralis will take it. And a beautiful sequence. But I just love a crispy ice cold. I want like the little chunks of glassy ice in my drink. That's the that's the badger. Three up, second mid. Let's see if they can have some more pace to this chat. I suspect that the clock's been getting the better of them. They do want to like just prove to themselves that they can find an entry within that first 40, 50 second window. So we are going to see if they can shape that up. Victor's dispatched to join the pack of the apartments. A passive hold of banana for now, not investing anything into it. And speaking of investing, their utility. It's rather light. You've got the smokes required. You'll have your moto, your arch, wherever they desire. And it is coming quick. Thick, fast, three on site. Magisk in pit. This is where he does all of his best work on Inferno. And that'll be enough of a deterrent. Long, lucky. Oh, oh the completely trigger. blind. White screen, doesn't matter. Tucked in now. The loss of Bubsky may lead them back to B. Victor considering a wrap. 
They have to push mid. Australians have to take top mid control back here. If they don't move now, it's all on zip. He's stranded. Oh, man. Good call here. they got so much time to work it out. Astralis, miles away from aiding him. And Victor's going to have the whole rotate down. They'll have to go banana. I think Zip's going to give them sight and play retake here. This is really his only choice. Right, there's no nades, oh, but they're walking in. Oh, what an angle. Working with nothing. They'll have to hunt him. Get that bomb down, Red Star. Bomb to be planted. Three from Banana. Zip kicking. And now a man advantage for Astralis. They're making this one threatening. Quick to boost up. A quick shot out of Lucky and falling apart here for Fiend. Crossfire's good. What's he up to? Han goes and takes the fight on his own, and now Red Star has to handle four Danes bearing, barreling towards him. And that's the end of that. Beautiful. Again, a great reaction. Again, within the mid-round. That shot is huge, right? But uh, Astralis, they've identified the problem, and they solved it quickly. That, that's the only way back that's in. That's the only way back in. Play retake and plays it well. See, there, there could be Ooh. a problem, right? If somebody stayed mid to stop that push, that's the difference maker, right? But the Fiend, with the numbers and no utility, had to go in. But they've already broken them. So 4-4. Four, four. It's going to be a light buy. Some digs. P250, a scout. And Astralis, now they want to keep one clean here. We spoke about Fiend needing to convert before. This is one that Astralis can't let slip if they want to get it done in two. And obviously, by the time this finishes, it's probably going to feel like a best of five. Dreamer won't test his luck there. G2 Ents as well to be looking forward to. Well, lucky Ents play quite fast Counter-Strike. They might be able to catch us up. Dreamer's on his lonesome here. You can see he's the furthest forward of the pack. It's back towards the B site. They're going to turn their attention. And Bubski, more like Braveski. Yeah, and that's the bomb leading the charge. Bubbles delivered it. And now Utility can be dumped. Oh, he's only got eight bullets. Burning. He's burnt a little. Careful now, respect the half wall. Bubsky doesn't need any more bullets. A backflip from Han, and that's the finish. Silence, sure, but loud in the feed. We see Bubs. Han will get his AWP again. This time, some more aggressive U2 down. You can see that CT Molly just going to slow down any more aggressive maneuvers. Snade from Yeah, Bubsky there. That wants to deal with the close cubby, but it was actually the one deep down mid as virtue of this smoke that has done a chunk damage right now. Ooh. And Magis, what are you doing? Pipping a gap. This is nuts. Pipping a gap. Red Star does react in time. Okay. Man advantage. They are uh, the walking wounded at this point. Where did he think they were going to be? They can't be banana bussy. They're coming. Yeah, good point. Are they <laughs> either T-spawn or they're coming to you? <laughs> so uh, imagine that was a, a risky one, but... I think he's feeling himself. They've strung together some very impressive rounds so far, so... This gets hard now, though, yeah. right? I know they are low on HP. Well, at least three of them are going to be a one shot to the head for this M4. Safe from the flash on that half wall. Safe from that too. Catch his bubble looking. He had so many questions he had to answer, but he does it on his own. Well, Dreamer again up towards Apartments. We've seen it once. We'll see him here again. You can see the responsibility being ironed out here. Oh, what a peak from Lucky catching that time. Dreamer. Yeah, you're right. Fortunately, that's not the case for the remaining three, but this man advantage short-lived. Well, they had to go marching in one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. And now they have to go away. We have 25 seconds on the clock. And again, the jewels, they're easy to isolate. There's nothing making Astralis feel uncomfortable here. And they're going to pick up their sixth round without any dramas whatsoever. Victor, now with only 18 seconds left on the clock. Too many to find, looking flustered on the spray. Dupree's not going to give you a thing. And that Molotov burning a hole in his pocket. Well, don't, don't go that far. That's how you lose, friends. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Magisk, what, mate? What are you up to? I think like he sat there for long enough. He's like, I don't want to wait for these slow rounds. Are these guys serious? I think that might be the case. He's, I'm just going to fight them. And Dupree's like, I'm with you, mate. I'm with you. But we can get this done. Oh, that's going to put him back on the uh, defense, I think. Uh, M4 is recoverable. But what do you do with that? Maybe inspect it. It's a good-looking skin. He does have head armor. And he could isolate one of these fights here. Now, porch side seems to be the plan. Bubski might have a little look here. It's a question of when he chooses to release that crouch key. Bang. <laughs> yeah. Get those. Right, let's keep track of it. Yeah. Oh, look at this call. 4B. 4B. Are you going to run down? What are you doing? Just nades? Standard stuff? And Well, they are all here. 
Well, this is where Fiend had success early. I know most of you may have forgotten about it, but it was a couple of B executes against the pistols, and, and that was quite tidy. Now, even more nades and flak damage being done. Two players chunked on down, and they're boosting over the wall. That is one of the solutions, as Bubsky tries to throw out a flash to zip. So I guess that's an alternative to just running and dropping them and immediately rotating as you go, throw some, drop some. Yeah, you throw your offensive ones, drop your defensive ones for them to pick up. That's a good way to frame it. Another one. Bang. Oh, right oh. on the money. I'm going to check in on util damage. Swallowed that one, didn't they? Now three of them just having to limp in towards this B bomb site. Dreamer, again, tasked with second mid and the rest of them looking to execute B. 11 rounds in, Chad's near... Chad? Yes. No, not you. Oh. Magisk has nearly got 300 utility damage. Oh, that's beautiful that's stuff. 11 rounds in. That's three kills just from his Pokeballs. Be careful there, Bubski. They are coming. And they've even tucked into the power position with Victor here, so they need to set up their util bubble and Dreamer with some smokes. Now Dreamer's joined the pack. The rotation coming from Dupree now. Look at the nades on Dupree as he comes on over. Oh, he's not even going to throw them. He's just going to give them on over. All right, Bubski. Here you go, mate. You get to throw these ones out. And Alex, it's a 30 seconds, mate. Yeah, that's the perfect oh. Perfect util. Miserable. Set. You just have to wait. So now you're going to have a 10 second 5v5 to plan and kill three. Here we go. They're going to flash and go through it. They have to. They have to go through it. They can't wait. No fun for anyone. Zip anti. Bubsky strikes. A double from him. Good flash at least, but that's it. Bubsky, three. Dupree, the pair. And that is the end of that. Oh, it's calling a good game. Yeah. I mean, the only counter to that, like if you're on that T side, is. Dream of getting answers on A. Yeah. And he didn't. He just stayed passive. Because they've been picked off. Oh, yikes. More nades coming downtown. Safe for now. They're equally socially distanced. <laughs> Maintaining the bubble at all times. That ruler out between them here. But Bubsky, well, he's a fan of taking space. And he's pushed all the way down. Banana has the oversight of Zipex again. These two AKs that are out to play in the hands of Dreamer and Red Star. Well, they're the only keys to success. And they will need to find an opener. Device did so much great work for Astralis in these uh, Inferno CT sides. And oh, they're pushing the issue. That's mean, Bubsky. Just as they're not coming to his site, he has to bring the fight to them. And now looking very shaken. Fiend, they're just, they're being beaten up here. Yeah, this is uh, really just a bullying act right now. Oh, and I just actually landed a dink. Dupree converts onto Dreamer's apps pop, but yeah, Red Star short. He knows Dupree was around that graveyard position. Han equipped with the bomb, but only the Deeg, and that's not going to get him far. <sighs> Look, soon that Astralis fan will be able to take his scarf and his shirt to an actual arena. That'll be cool. That'll be fun. Can't wait. Not far away from that now. It'll be great to return, but yeah, nine, nine, uh, nine kills in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They are really forcing the issue here. This is so. Oh, you know what? We can use this as an example of Chad. You know how I was telling you, Mobby Star Riders, they find it difficult when we're getting disrespected. That's what this is. This is exactly what this is. Yeah. This is what the scrims sometimes feel like. You know, they're just running you down. They're, like, you find yourself in comms going <sighs> push taps. Yeah. And in that situation now, like, previously, in a lot of the earlier rounds, they were getting the space and respect. Right? I know that Magisk was still pushing, but they were still getting the space they needed to try and go for these executes. At this point now, it's just, it's it's jarring. It's a little bit belittling in a way as well. Because yeah, you don't get to play, the, the, the strat is irrelevant when you've lost two players to pushes. Exactly. Now you're playing out a three on four situation with Red Star on 20 HP. Hello. There we go. Now we're talking. Well, there's a yeah. smoke. They might just have to run through it. Yeah, they're going to run boost, yeah. It's desperate, it's desperate, but they have to. And it might catch Zip off. Might, oh, still gets two of the three. He ignores Victor, eliminates the rest. Lucky puts it to bed. Grab this round, oh, it's actually double op defense now. Bubsky's even brought one out for the B side of things, so that's curious. But if they can get five on the half, it's not too shabby. They can work with that once they flick on over to the CT side, but they need to get past Lucky's AWP, who, lucky for them, dipped on back towards that arch side. Flash up mid, warning shot, and they're running him down right now. I need to hit one of these, and he does. Good for it. Dupree chimes on in, and now it's just three more kills again. Dupree swinging out there blind, and he's going to oh. get around. It's going to be very important in doing that. They're bored on in. Just waking him up. Hey, Bubsky. Hey. Uh, the most deceptive scoreline. <laughs> <laughs> Subliminal messaging while he's asleep. Oh, let's see how this one goes. It has not gone well for Fiend, at least not on the T side. Astralis looking absolutely rigid, turgid in their defense. Five Kevs in the server, and, well, that's uh, not their names. It's the armor right now that Fiend have. Haven't gone for any util, don't have a kit. Now, there's a HE, a smoke, and a flash for Magisk. 
Zipax with a smoke and a molly of his own, and right now they are turning their attention towards this A bomb site, four of which are trundling up through the apartments. That util from Zip, he could limp the smoke out onto the balcony, and molly two players who don't have a smoke of their own. They will have to run, they will have to hide here. There's that smoke I was talking about. And that Molly, it shouldn't be too far behind. He's going to flash him out. Victor's playing anti, but not anymore. Molotov down, the flash pop, streamer eliminated. Victor needs the last to find a head. They are in jeopardy. Han in trouble. Now, Red Star is tucked in for this headshot angle, but he's been spotted out as well. And Astralis are in no rush. There's three of them hanging out in this pit. It's a little pit on oh. action. Nade involved. Han does find the head of Magisk, and it's up to Bubsky to try and level the odds. He's not far off the job. It does favor Fiend heavily now. I mean, USPs have been found, so it is going to be a, an even duel in that long-range engagement on Moto. Don't want to overextend as Bubble. And yeah, that time's starting to run thin. They have to push the site players, but if Bubble keeps going for peaks out of library, it's going to make it Boost very, very difficult. Yard? That would be cool. Ah, I don't think you can get Thanks. up that high. Okay. Problems then. Significant problems. He has to take a gap, and yeah, Hunt does eliminate Dupree. Thrust into a 10-second 1v3. <laughs> And he's trying to run them down. They're playing it passive. You can't blame him. Can't fault him. And just exactly that. But he's decided to go with a Zeus. And I don't know where he plans to use that. But they are pushing the issue. Yeah, going to give him a taste of their own medicine here. Just quickly running them down mid. I think everyone's speed running this. This is great. This is the anti because how they used to be. And Inferno a long time ago with the CTs would push. <gasps> Hello. What? Uh, they're not getting any more. Oh, okay. Victor solved the problem. He insta died there. Yeah, they, was I think really quick. Just insta clicked in, sim in uh, unison. Synchronicity. Oh. In sync. Synchronized swimmers is always interesting. They're doing it in the water upside down. First. Okay, well, here we go. A case. Hey. Gun round. We're getting there because uh, Astralis opted not to purchase. So, Galil for Bubski. A case for the rest. It's going to be a MP9 and a Fama for Fiend here on their, well, we can't call it a bonus, but it's the closest thing they'll be getting. This nade is going to hurt. It's going to sting. There's more to Magus, the man behind Bubsky here, but the bullet's on through. An extra five as a second HE lands at their toes as well. Now, this is necessary for Fiend to get back into the mix. They win Whoa. this one. We can really start the story of the comeback. Pretty heavy flex as well from... Uh, M4A1S, the knight. That's Bubbles' uh, fourth kill here. He got two in the half, and that's uh, well, he's got two in this second half already here. So, it, look, he could definitely wake up and turn things around. It was a hard T half to call, that's for sure. But down a man again, Astralis. Two players about that half HP mark, and they will have to regroup and regather towards this top banana position. Plenty of smokes. They could do CT. They can do coffins. They could even do a wall if they would like. And right now, it is only Red Star and Bubble. Red Star, you can see, he's going to drop a reactionary smoke so as to keep them guessing. He'll be able to peek out on the left and right side of the new box and the pillar. There it is. Good time to drop it. They can pre-fire it all they want, but it's Bubble that will be activated here. He's smoked off for now. They're going to look to isolate the jewel. Great flash. It's actually Bubble that set his teammate up for the first frag. And they're brought in the clock well. Look at the Beautiful. timing on this. Great time to boost up. Astralis left with nothing. That that's going for them. And they're going to go for a three-man top banana lean here to try and stall out any of Astralis' early moves. Molly off the skybox to the close wall. Zipex is through, and Zipex has found the opener. That is massive. Wow. That also is massive. Huge amount of damage dealt, and there's more nades to be thrown. They have to respect that with pools as shallow as that in the health department. I thought the jungle was massive. Wicked, wicked. Walking through this smoke, I suspect. Ooh, it was well timed, but telegraphed and evaded. This is actually a great gap. They have all arch side to work with right now. Uh, Hans dropped that nade, and he's actually found himself in the A bomb site here. So these footsteps will be heard, and they're wrapping onto the site. Oh, spot out mini pit can suspect that the Deagles will struggle at oh. this range. That just doesn't well tracked in the end, and Han cleaning up nicely. Now the M4 was recovered. Red like a, a linear line to where to place your uh, your crosshair, right? So helping him out a bit there, but Han. Oh. 
That's got a timer on it, and he knows. Yeah, not shy. Lucky has an AWP as well in play here, so needs to be a little bit careful with those type of maneuvers. Yeah, and the Bulgarian AWPs, once again, Hans trying to thrust his name onto that list. Serk and Poison have really had a, a flamboyance and have been a very impressive presence in the international scene, breaking out of the local Bulgarian rosters. Now, I think Han is the highest rated member of Fiend, and he's been looking to add his name to that list. We did like uh, Dennis Law the other day as well on the AWP. Yeah, he shout. was looking pretty good from Skade, but... Bubble, you've had a rough one, mate. You, you can't continue to have a rough one here. Oh, Bubski boosted up and his body shots. Bubble had a chance and a time to react. 16th conceded for him. That will sour the mood a little in the Fiend camp because now operating at a disadvantage and there's still plenty of time, plenty of nades. Everything Astralis desire to commit to this site and to isolate a little Dreamer opting for the setup. He's the one with the util, so oh. might have to leave Graveyard and throw some reactionary stuff. Han's going to be smoked off here. Uh, so it's going to be all on these A defenders. They need to slow this down. Peeks out again. Dreamer contributes with the double. Oh, that's something. So is the wall bang from Lucky. That should open the door a little bit. Han, he's found a gap. Tracks well. Nice Zipex shot. down on the drop. They're actually converting into the site. Bubski denies. Only Red Star he's in a one two. He can find oh. him. Lucky saves us. Competitive as they can, but this is where Astralis can take control of the game. And well, Han's not done with the aggression here. There's a timer on that. Now, obviously, the reps that they do let them know how long they can hang around, but also the presence in second mid. You study the demos, you look at the details, you kind of get a rough idea of the timings that teams like to take holes and boiler in their default rounds. And it is Dupree and Zipex working on that real estate right now. Is up towards Banana, Magisk and Bubski. Well, they're clawing that back too. So this is uh, what you want on the T side. You get Banana control, you're going to get top mid control, and from there you get to decide which bomb site that you want to hit. Good way to get information when you suspect there's no one actively holding. Dupree makes no secret of his apartment's presence either. You see the thing that's crazy about all of this, right? The moves that happen to go for peaks or the certain flashes. All of that stuff is so particular. But when we watch it and we talk about it, we just say, oh, yeah, he does the boost to look over the wall. But it's which position do you stand? How do you mantle onto the head? How do we jump on up so we're not spotted? Like, you don't get caught out. Ooh, almost caught out. Some toes. Twinkle toes of Dupree. You're going to tap dance past that one. Step ball change. Shot oh, the don't get us started on dancing, mate. Watch them pirouette into B here. Ready to play and plie. Bubble in trouble. Red star required. Up against the stars and to the stars. Astralis start. Zipex onto Red Star and the site is theirs. Oh. He's quick. But, oh, oh, what is that? Just nonsense. What was that? I just think he just unloaded a full spray. Dupree's even locking the door behind him. Oh, they're on point with an E here. Yeah, and Dreamer. Drive by Bubski. Oh. Okay, well, the fans for Australia's getting happy. Things are finally looking like they might conclude for them as 14 is destined. It is just the USPs. Little insects. And they're leaping out of the apartment. Some tracking practice for Zip. He does take two and a half. Dupree looking to finish it off. Lovely. It, we just used to call them jokes. You called it... A, no, sorry, it wasn't you. It was Parler. called them a, a GIF the other day. A GIF. I can't believe he's one of those. In a jiffy. Okay, well, no orb, but Bubble. He doesn't mind. He's aggressive. He's going to post on up and even put some bullets through that smoke to no avail. And that's not Dr. Availa we're talking about. That's the success. Oh, it's going to be an A explode here, Alex. This one's about to heat up. Coming in hot. Rotates on its way. The cavalry will arrive in time, and so will Dreamer. He has been given it everything he's got. Victor as well puts him into a great advantage. Need to finish his meal. Victor is doing it all. Three with the FAMAS on site. Astral is left, just calling upon Bubski. And he's got time to run around and... Play around a little bit. He's got the bomb on his back. He's got the highest frags in the server. He's teaching us all a pop flash. <laughs> good Calm luck. Calm it down. Calm it down. It, it, look, damage is still really good here, right? It, it, I'm sure one of the players in the team is going to pipe up and tell him there's no rush for this. He still has 45 seconds left. He, if he can find a kill or two, that's all right. And it's looking very sporadic right now. He's...
making no secret of his position, which means there's going to be multiple eyes drawn. And yeah, not golden MP9. No, the uh, golden FAMAS. It didn't encourage me oh. to uh, to use it. I thought it would. Let's put it back in the cupboard. Yeah, stat track one. Like the good, like the good China. <laughs> Well, I don't think we'll see Astralis go for that play again just yet. Maybe more of the default spread. Here he is again. Bubski up he goes. And a flash, and he might even pick this corner. Some really good half-wall flashes. And, oh, he's going to need some help, Bubski. They're just there. Oh, oh, Red Star, two victims. Two dog tags in his palms, and they're wrapping as well. Look yeah. Look at this. Issues, big issues. They're in as well. They need to scoop up the bomb, sure, but they're in, and there's no way out. And I don't suspect Victor's going to have considered this. Now, he's... Going towards the coffin side, Dupree could catch a lovely timing on this, and Zip already taking another body down. Victor, the impactful from the previous. Can he save Fiend? Stands, delivers again. Finally finished off, but they've handed Han a bit too much on his plate. It's a terrible position. Do I go for this and try and win a one on three on the B bomb site, or do I save my AWP and see if we can contest Play against for 15? OT with the hero AWP. Uh, we've had a lot of these games where we've been talking about playing for OT here, and this will be another of them. Great stuff from Bubski. He's having a great game. 23 now for him, and two hugely impactful entries. Almost, on I could, I, yeah, I, 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 literally, but I don't mean literally. He won the round on his own right there. So, really good stuff from Bubski. Yeah, it's really great to see, and uh, yeah, this one. This one is going to feel like the first map where it's only a matter of time now until the Stratos close on out because next round of play, we're looking at 1,900 as the loss bonus. So what I want you all to do is quickly add 1,900 to all the money that you see for Fiend. Bubble plus 1,900. He's got uh, 2K. 7,222. You're, yep. yeah, you're pretty close. Yeah, you're pretty close. Celebrate. They are very, very close to converting here in the quarterfinal. Gone for the big guns, Fiend. So they've gone for the orps. Two of them in the M4s. Uh, they haven't really prioritized utility here. There is a light smattering, but... Reza might get smattered. Ooh, can't track him. Bubski's going to do it again. One and a half, Bubski. Oh, look at Zip. Caught the bubble nade. Zip, look yeah. This. He's waiting for you. And Han caught out in the off angle. Just looking for info, and he gets hot lead instead. Victor's up to no good. And wait, Lucky. Lucky considers it. Catches Victor on the flank. Two remain. Tracked him nicely. Dreamer contributes, but it's all on to bubble on B. He's looking the wrong way. And so the conclusion is reached. Sorry, Dreamer, we're going to write you out of this one, mate. You have to, first of all, get past Dupree and CT spawn. Yeah, and he's going to have to... Oh, he's noisy too. Hear this. Nice find. Okay, that's the first big green tick. Yeah, Lucky's got an AWP, though, and you'd have to hit that first one tap. He's even got you till four days. That's nice. A smoke to close the gap. Magis has picked up an AWP as well, so he's posted up. Okay. There's something for Dreamer. And there it goes. 16.